They're so in sync though. Wow. Such a catchy dance. Oh, so good. Yes, girls. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Once Upon a Melody or welcome if you're new. I'm Melody and I'm a late diagnosed ADHD -er and autistic person and K-pop is one of my special interests. I'm here today to watch all of Stacy's dance practice videos. And if you have not been keeping up, this is my fourth deep dive into Stacy. So if you would like to watch these with me, please stay tuned. And I think I will have one more video for the deep dive series for Stacy. And then we'll be moving on to TXT or Tomorrow by Together. I am very excited for that one as well. If you want to make sure that you don't miss those videos from me that are coming up, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it if you would join me on my K-pop journey. All right, so without further ado, let's go. We're going to start off with their debut so bad. Oh, their room is so small. <laughs> Part for the course for a new group. <laughs> They're so in sync though, wow. My goodness. There's something about dance practices when even their hair is flipping in sync. I love it. Jay looks so different with his short hair. Is that Suman with the ombre hair? I'm really certain that's Yoon with the bangs. I love this part where they pair off. Very adorable. Yeah, that's Yoon with the bangs. Oh my gosh, they look so different. I love that move. It's very 80s. <laughs> I love that they're all wearing matching outfits too. Yay! Oh my god. So good for their first dance practice. There's something about watching dance practice videos that's different from just watching the music videos because you get to see the full dance in one go instead of having it split up and broken up in a music video. And then also you get to see their progression more, I feel like, as a group from their starting point to where they are now. Um, you can see how much they have improved a lot better than just by watching the music videos. The music videos are always going to be more polished. It's kind of funny, like this, the dance practice videos is almost a misnomer because it's not exactly a practice. It is definitely like, here is our best practice so far and we are ready to put this on the stage. <laughs> but it still gives that progression that I love to see. All right, next up is ASAP, one of my favorite songs. I love this multicolored title screen. They've upgraded their room for sure. Oh, it's kind of like a clock. Oh my 
my gosh. It says hair. <laughs> I love this part. Such a catchy dance. They were really smart for this dance because for the chorus part, it's very easy. Um, I feel like even beginners or people that don't dance regularly could do it on TikTok. I'm not a dancer and I feel like even I could do it. <laughs> and I am super uncoordinated. You don't want to see that. Trust me. No, that's Seiyun with the haircut. Oh, I love it. Much better lighting in this one, too. They're still wearing the matching outfits too. I love that. You can see even Seun's stage presence here too. I love it. And that part's really cool too, where half of them are facing forward and half of them are facing backward. That's so neat. Break it down. I really like it in dances too when they have whoever's part it is that they're doing a different dance than the others. That way your eyes are naturally drawn to them. I love it when you can hear their sneaker squeaks. <laughs> That's really cool too, how they pop out from behind each other like that. All right, next up is So What, which I think is a song that I have not reacted to yet, but I really do like this song a lot. Half of them are matching in this one. It's another different studio again. That's neat. They're doing mirrored versions of the dance. I love Isa with this black hair. That's another thing that I love to see in the dance practices is the difference in their hairstyles for each comeback. So you can kind of compare their their hairstyles too. I like that. It's for putting the easy parts in the chorus. Like I'm sure other groups do this too because of um, TikTok and all of the different social medias that we have now and just the ease with which they can do the dances as a challenge. But like you can see it with every single one of their dances, and I love that. Song too, she's so good. Oh. I saw <laughs> the little wave, that's so fun. <laughs> Just a little encouraging smack. <laughs> They're so precious. Oh, that's cute. Like they're telling each other a secret. There's a lot of arm movements in this one that I feel like make it more difficult. I like how they're using the natural light in this one too. 
Simon had to run to the back there. <laughs> Blooming. <laughs> I love that. I have the cheers. It's not one of my favorite songs, but oh gosh, I wanted to see that dance because the song is so fast. All right, now we do have my favorite song, Run to You. I love that, how it's like a, um, like a round when you're singing, but the dancing, <laughs> they each do one different part after the other. They're all so good. They're equally good at dancing, I feel like. I just love the beat on this one. Get it, I saw. I love that part <laughs> and that you can see they're consistently using the same room now so that must be their designated practice room at this point that looks so cozy too with their sweatpants I mean they look cozy <laughs> And then they're perfectly in sync again. Oh, so good. of Saiyan's part there. Oh, so cool. Her head bob and wink. There's a lot of parts in this song that aren't singing, so the way that they fill the space they're dancing is very good. Yes. And they end with the S pose. I love that. Okay, next we have Beautiful Monster. They're all wearing very colorful outfits in this one. They look very trendy. I think 
think so far Stereotype has the most views and likes of their dance practices. But the one for Beautiful Monster is my favorite. Let me know your favorite Stacey dance down in the comments below. Yes, girls. All right, next we have Poppy, which is very viral dance. Just noticed that um, Feiyun and I think it's Yoon have teddy bear shoes on. How are they dancing in those? <laughs> no, it's not Yoon. It's Sumin. <laughs> It's really cute. <laughs> Did Jay and Sayun lose a game or something and they had to wear these slippers? I want to know. They look adorable and they're nailing it. Eat them, that's adorable. All right, next we have Teddy Bear and Suman is holding a giant teddy bear. Cute. <laughs> How are they dancing in these shoes? They all have matching outfits this time too. Just noticed. Notice. I love this dance too. So adorable. Cute. Can't get over Seaman's rap. <laughs> ah, oh, Seaman has the cute. I was trying to read what was written on the back of their shorts. It looks like it might be like some kind of nicknames, which is just adorable. I love it. Maybe their birth years? <laughs> if you know what the back of their shorts mean, please tell me in the comments below. Oh, is it their initials? I don't know. It looks like their initials are like the first two letters of their first name and their birth year. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> The little hand game bit there. So cute. I love how they're cheering for themselves. Oh, see, now they're showing it off. <laughs> All right. And lastly, we have Bubble. So I have watched this one before, but I will let you know my thoughts on it. They're back in this room again, which looks like the one they filmed their one for Poppy in. I love that part. Little windmill girls.
So I finally found out what that part meant, punch you like an 808. An 808 is a type of drum system, an electronic drum system. So they're saying that their feelings of, you know, wanting to stay in or go out, what the song is about, um, is in like bursting other people's bubbles and expectations of you. They're going to do that like they're punching like an 808. <laughs> So in sync. Even the way their hair bounces together. I love that part too. <laughs> There's a lot less sneaker squeaks in this one. I wonder if it's because it's a different kind of flooring. I love that part where they both pop out. So good. Students high note never fails to impress me. They're just so good. I love it. All right, y'all. What was your favorite dance practice? Please comment down below what it was. Mine is definitely Run to You. It's my favorite song, so of course. The dance practice was my favorite but you can definitely see just how good they were to begin with with so bad like they just impressed me so much with how good they were right out of the gate so this is my second to last deep dive for stacy the last one will be the recording behind videos so make sure that you click that subscribe button down below to make sure that you don't miss that turn on notifications give this video a like if you liked it and don't forget to drink some water today, eat something, take your medicine if you haven't done those things yet. Thank you so much for watching the dance practices with me today, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!